I love this drive in in the morning because I've got where I am right now to the left and where I want to be in years to come to the right. You know, it's a long day uh, with film in the morning, class throughout the day and practice at night. You know, it takes a toll on you. So you got to be in good shape and mentally prepared for every single day. Every morning during spring ball, I come in at 5.37 a.m. on the dot every day, and I watch film for about two and a half hours, and then I'm right off to class afterwards. My name is Braden Herdick. I'm the Director of Football Operations and Assistant Running Backs Coach here at Erie Community College, and I am 18 years old. When I break down film in the morning, I take a game from last season and I break it down play by play. So I start with the play call. What did we call versus what did they call? And was it successful? Was it not successful? And why? I'll watch each position to find out what our mistakes were. And uh, it's really a great way to learn more about the game and learn what we need to coach better. I actually started this job uh, before I even graduated high school. One of my former coaches brought me out for the spring just to help out. Coach Pilkey gave me the opportunity to work with this staff and I worked my way up pretty quickly within this program. He said he's going to work and uh, you know, he wants an opportunity to uh, grow in the business. And that was a lot of the way that I came in was getting an opportunity to just do whatever and kind of immerse myself in the program. So um, when he was recommended, by his high school coach, Frank Payne, who was also our defense coordinator at the time. Um, you know, I took the recommendation seriously and he came in in his first year and did what he was supposed to do, uh, which was all the little jobs, learn, learn the totality of what it is to run a program. And so you start from the ground floor and you work your way up. An 18 year old coach in football is really unheard of. And uh, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to pursue my dream at such a young age and I wouldn't trade it for the world. My responsibilities off the field include all the equipment, uh, distribution and organization. I coordinate all the film during practice and games and all the upload of the film. Uh, I also assist with the recruiting efforts as well in the off season. Uh, on the field, I work with the running backs, kickers and punters. And off the field, again, I provide our players with an opportunity to come talk to a coach around their age. Uh, if there's something that they're not super comfortable going and talking to an older coach or an adult about, uh, I'm always here to listen and guide them in the right direction. He works as hard as any of the other coaches. I mean, he's a, he's a full-time student uh, at this time. Uh, he knows that he's got to put his years in uh, to learn, to gain uh, insight, and to be around the players at this level. Uh, I think uh, his work ethic, and you know, he's taken on a lot of responsibility, and he's shown early maturity uh, that maybe not even a lot of guys 10 years older than him uh, would show at this point. Good, good. High and tight, high and tight, Cav. Good job. Keep the pad level down, Yax. His work ethic is based on the love that he has for the sport. And uh, he knows that there's a lot to learn. Uh, sometimes we have to pull him back a little bit because he, he wants to do too much before he's ready. But he, he understands that. So he's coachable. He's, uh, you can work with him. I'm very fortunate to have a great relationship with our coaching staff. Uh, those guys are my mentors, my teachers. They're really who I'm learning the game from and picking my bones with. So uh, I'm grateful for the chance to work with these guys, and I gel really well with them uh, for being as young as I am. Good ball. I like that ball. Good job. Shag it. Good. Good. Good job, Prince. It took me 18 years uh, to get you know to the point where I'm at, and uh, and I started when I was 28 or 29 years old. Now he's starting at 18, 19, so he's got 10 years uh, ahead of it. As a young coach, uh, players are simple. If you're going to make them better, they'll listen to you, and if you're not, they won't. And that's why I stick to what I know first and foremost when it comes to coaching. And I'm always trying to learn and get better. So, you know, you're not out there to impress anybody. So, because when you start trying to coach something that you don't know, like the back of your hand, you're doing yourself and your players a disservice. Hey, you're going from here. Go from your armpits, all right? A lot of guys that come here have made mistakes in their past, and I stress to them that the reason why many people aren't successful in life is because there's something in their past that they keep holding on to. And um, I always tell them, if you don't see something or someone as part of your future, 
uh, leave it in the past where it belongs. He goes through and really dedicates his life to this as he currently is and doesn't expect too much too soon uh, over the course of his lifetime he should have every opportunity that he'll create and he's learning how to do that now. I like the competition today all right the fire was good I liked it we were hitting all right I want to see I want to keep this going all right stay consistent this whole group all right you get healthy tonight go home eat well do your homework be in class on time tomorrow all right. Uh, my goal is to get to the Division One level someday, and it will certainly be a grind these next few years, and there's a lot of uncertainty in this business about uh, where you might be and who you might be with, uh, but I personally believe if your dream doesn't scare you a little bit, then you're not dreaming big enough. So I love football more than anything, and I look forward to the challenge of moving up the ranks and getting to the highest level.